awfully rough back in the day. I mean, we were wearing basketball shoes, and the events were straight shots, and we were going over 60 miles an hour with basketball shoes on, and rubber, like water ski bindings is the best way to explain it. It was so prehistoric. This product called a snurfer, you know, just a little piece of wood, and, and it had a string in the nose, so you'd stand on it and ride down, and this was a chance to sort of surf on snow, and it just appealed to me right away. It's taken so long to get to where we are. I mean, it's been over 30 years. That's not like a dot-com company or some internet thing that just happened overnight. The whole idea of having an application on the phone that actually tracks what you skate. So it's a normal skating game that you would play on a console. But for real, like if you've done a super trick, like a wonderful 360 and the program detects it, it's a wonderful 360, then you can Twitter it or send it to your Facebook account. We've taken the skate concept and we've put it onto a mountain. There's obviously some quite big differences. So, you know, it, it's about the different kind of sensors that we're involving, the different kind of measures, the forces that are put upon the board and upon the rider that we're going to create data um, that, that developers will be able to use. In five years' time, I mean, for snowboarding, we hope that everyone will have this kit. And what we want to do is turn all of the world's mountains into playgrounds.